Hey everyone, I'm Alfred and welcome back to Quake. This should be the last episode. Hi! Yowzes. What a silly trap. It's like putting a bucket of water over the door. You know what? I'm not entirely... I don't entirely care if I die. Because I'll know that there's a... Uh, Damn. Really? That's fine. All right. Shambler coming up. See, one of the problems is that I don't really have a lot in the way of things in between me and him. What's down here? So, it's up there, huh? Whoops. Or no, it's up there. I can do that. All right. You can't even jump for it. How dare you, sir? Blarg, he says. Oh gosh, oh man. Why don't I jump? <sighs> Didn't I find a boss at some point? I was just thinking about that. It seems like a... It seems like it's one of those gameplay things where like... They built the first episode in a certain way. And then with 2 and 3 they had like... They had like gotten off track. Yeah. And maybe they only got back on track with episode four. Because, like, I think I'm probably going to fight a boss at the end here, guys. Oh, there's, yeah, the trap keeps shooting me, of course. Yeah, you know what? Keep it going, guys. I like to see it. God. Actually...
Cool. All right. Oh, there is a trap as well. Alright, this is a good place to save the game. God, he didn't even have a fucking chance. He just sat there and just exploded. What a piteous existence to just explode and stuff. Okay. Hmm. Is there any reason for me to go that way? Because if there isn't, like, I might just load the save and not go that way. Jesus. One of you guys, huh? Okay. Okay. Oh, and I see you brought your friends. <gasps> that ain't good. Boy, if there were things to not be good. I would argue that that would be a pretty big one. You're dead. Great, you love to see it. There's still a... <sighs> shambler unaccounted for somewhere in here. Stop fucking jumping! Oh yeah, the quick wiki apparently mentions how infuriating these things are. All the more reason not to have it. Did I fall down in here? I think I must have. Jesus. Alright, let's do a save. Damn you. God damn you. Oh man, it's the fucking party room in here, huh? Hey guys, what's up? 
Oh, we got Shamblin too. Sheesh. God, don't do this to me. <sighs> Holy shit, man. What? Why am I holding this? Oh my god, am I dry of everything? Holy shit. We are moving into dire straits. Anything? Fuck me. Okay. I can do this. Oh! Well, that'll help. Theoretically, that could have helped, but... Well, no, that's a little better, actually. Hoping for something like that. Shambler. Fucking spike trap again. Okay. Hall of Red Brick. Ah, oh, that's such bullshit. Alright. There was totally air at the top there. For some reason, it just didn't let me breathe it. Okay. Once more with feeling. Azure Agony. I wonder why it's called that. What the hell? Where is it? Man, there is no justice. How is this legal, guys? That's just impolite.
Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Lordy, Lordy, Lord. Oh, my God, it's the rune of, of, uh, whatever this one is. Whatever, man. I'm done. Despite the awful might of the Elder World, you have achieved the rune of Elder Magic. Capstone of all types of arcane wisdom. Beyond good and evil. Beyond life and death. The rune pulsates heavy with import. Patient and potent, the elder being Shub Nagurath weaves her dire plans to clear off all life from the earth and bring her own foul offspring to our world for all the dwellers in the these nightmare dimensions are her descendants. Once all runes of magic power are united the energy behind them will blast open the gateway to Shub Nigurath's and you can travel there to foil the Hell Mother's plots in person oh my god John Carmack baby come on now you have all four runes. You sense tremendous invisible forces moving to unseal ancient barriers. So, uh, in case you needed any more convincing about HP Lovecraft, um, take the ath off of... Take the shub and the ath off of Shub Nagorath's name and pronounce it as you would with an American accent. And just think about how stupid and unsubtle Howard Phillips Lovecraft was. Uh, Shubby had hoped to use the runes herself to clear off the earth, but instead you will use them to enter her home and confront her as an avatar of avenging earth life. Wow, that's kind of cool. If you can defeat her, you will be remembered forever as the savior of the planet. If she conquers, it will be as if you had never been born. Uh, huh. Oh my god, all the way at the beginning, huh? Oh, cool. so it's the floor that opens. That's actually pretty radical. Oh, can I go back and do this on all the different levels? Shibby awaits you. Oh, man. The fact that it's a portal at the bottom of a hole is way scarier than if it was just a hole with a portal in it. Like, if the portal was, like, right here, but it's down here. Fuck that. How is that fair? Alright. <gasps> I don't actually need to hold my breath. I'm just playing a video game, you see. Quickly now, I need the air. Is this it? Okay. Okay, cool. This makes more sense. This is about as straight up and down as a... Holy... She looks like a shambler. I guess it makes sense.
Yeah, no matter what, you gotta go, brother. Okay. We are in there. Oh my god, the Shambler party's coming down. Is, is Shipna Garoth the one who has that, like, hentai titty manga about her? I mean, it's not a hentai manga anymore, but it used to be. Uh, I think Pochi Goy is drawing it. Oh my goodness! How could I have seen this coming? Hey, yeah, there's two types of them, though, in fight. Quickly now. One thing about Half-Life that's really good, and like, I know that like, of course Half-Life has made improvements over Quake. But yeah, one thing about Half-Life that's just really solid is that if you drown a little bit and then surface before dying, you get that health back. Okay. So I'm thinking I might have to use this a little more. Because it is very strong, but it's very, very weak in terms of ammo. Okay. Man, they're just dropping from the ceiling, huh? go, huh? Use it like you're watering your lawn, Ranger. And yeah, we're in Shubby's pit. God, Lord. I guess you're the Elder God, huh? I'm thinking this might not be working. God, what? Where are my hands at? So, one thing about this is that, like, I'm curious as to some of the choices made with enemy design. Because sometimes I'm like, oh yeah, what a fun enemy, that's interesting. And sometimes it's like, well, you guys definitely just wanted to, like, avoid making the same enemy from Doom again. 
Why didn't you just make the Doom enemy again? We liked him. Alright. You know, a repeat of an enemy isn't necessarily a bad thing. How's it banking around the corner? Okay, I gotta say, the fact that it... <laughs> the fact that that happened was pretty sweet. Whew. Recall I'm using this because it has slightly more range. But to say nothing of range, am I going to have the fucking ammunition to deal with all these? Holy moly. Peekaboo. Hallelujah. Okay, let's remember to load one or two if I want. Nice. Ah, hi! Okay, this is a decent... This is fine, this won't get me killed. Okay, go, go, go! That's weird. It's like jammed or something. The thing about triggering a melee attack from them is that- Oh god! The thing about triggering a melee attack from certain enemies is that you can bait out their melee attack pretty easily. And while they do the long animation, you can then just dash away. Okay. Oh. Right. Is that just a trick? Because I'm not going to lie to you, Shibby, it's kind of funny. So I am getting hurt just standing here. All right. Much like with Doom 2's final boss, this is something of a puzzle. The thing actually teleports me to wherever that is.
So what you do is you wait, and then you teleport inside of it. Telefragging it. <laughs> oh my god! Congratulations and well done. You have beaten the hideous Shub Nagurath. So yeah, that's, uh, she's also called the Black Goat with a Thousand Young. Uh, and beaten her hundreds of ugly changelings and monsters. Um, I really like how it, it kind of looks like it's just the head of a monster, but that might be a whole monster, and it's just so alien, we have no idea what its body plan looks like. Uh, you have proven that your skill and your cunning are greater than all the powers of Quake. You are the master now, its software salutes you. Well, thank you. Is this, is this it? But yeah, I really like how just completely, completely alien it looks. Uh, but yeah, apparently she has 40,000 hit points. And it used to be possible to kill her just with bullets. But uh, that's not the case. Can't do that. Not anymore. It's available in earlier things. But yeah, there's actually a very clever thing that you can do. Uh, there's actually a very clever thing that you can do to one of the cyber demons in Doom where you telefrag it. It takes, it takes some doing, but I imagine that that might be what it was based off of. Uh, and one of the nail traps has its shooter entity pointing in the wrong direction, shooting nails back into the launcher instead of down the corridor at you. So yeah, that's, uh, that's what I, I noticed earlier. Cool. Uh, but yeah, I think that's, I think that's it. It's not like I've unlocked, you know, an additional, an additional campaign or something. So yeah, that's uh that's Quake out everyone. Um There are some things about it that are really annoying. Uh some things that are very obvious, some things that are just very minor. Um But that's sometimes that's true of almost every game, so who really cares? Uh And you know what? I think it's still really good. It's it's really, really fucking good. Uh, I'm excited to play Quake 2, and I've just realized, am I, like, going backwards through all the shooters? Because last year, I played Halo, and then later I played Half-Life 1. And then now I'm playing Quake, and I still want to play Doom and Wolfenstein. So am I going backwards through all the, like, step ones of all of the different shooters? Uh, but yeah, wow. That's Quake, everyone. The most important PC game ever. <sighs> really good game. Uh, as I mentioned, the game is cheap as shit. Um, but it's recommended that you get the source port. I used uh, Quake Spasm. I don't actually know why it's called that, but... But yeah, Shubna Gurath, uh, definitely Lovecraft's most problematic monster. Uh, also the main character of... Oh God, I forget what the name of it is. But Pochi Drew, and originally it was a hentai. And then he made it into like wholesome incest debate anime. You know the type. Uh... And then I think Shubby shows up in... I want to say Cthulhu Saves the World. But yeah, that's... Uh, <laughs> that's the modern day social impact of the worst name for any H.P. Lovecraft monster ever. A uh, semi-wholesome, semi-wanky uh, anime incest manga. Uh, a, a side boss in some RPG I played, and the final boss of Quake. 
That's about all. <laughs> so yeah, um, as I said earlier, it's basically just the real third Doom game. And we can even see that like the modern Dooms are now drawing from Quake. Like you start with a shotgun and there's quad damage and stuff like that. You can jump, etc. Um, definitely worth a play. It is so, so exciting. Um, I, I did a lot of uh, stuff in this where I was just playing and not talking. Because goddamn, I was so in on it. It's really, really solid. Uh, I don't really like give ratings to games, but if I had to, this one would be like good out of 10. <sighs> but yeah, that's uh, that's quick, everyone. Thank you all for coming. Uh, I have an Alfred. That's short for El Friedrich. This has been quick. I hope you all have a good day. See you guys next time. I've uh, played a bunch of other shooters. I will soon be, actually. I will soon, in like a couple of days, or maybe the first one might have already come out. Maybe it might be tomorrow. I, I think it's tomorrow. Um, I will be playing Halo 3. Another Hallmark classic ultra shooter. Uh, I played Half-Life earlier this year. I've played every other Halo up to Halo 3. Even Halo Wars, I've been uh, replaying the entire series. Uh, and if you don't like shooters, but you like classic games, I also have a long, drawn-out LP of Morrowind that uh, has just kicked back on because it was recently Skyrim Day. Uh, so that's going on now. And what else do I even have going on? I might be playing some more Half-Life soon as well. Uh, last month was October. I played a bunch of horror games. That's all I can think of right now, but suffice to say, if you enjoyed my commentary, um, I will say there are other LPs where I am more on point and better with my commentary. Not to say that I was bad on this one, but I'm better in some other ones. I'll admit that freely. Uh, but I digress. As I say, I've been Alfred, the short for El Friedrich. This has been Quake. Thank you guys for coming. I hope you all have a good day. See you guys next time. Bye.